hello friends welcome you all on your PD education so friends as all of you know that uh, your PDA has uh, basically uh, conducting a four four to five series and uh, I am basically going to take five questions uh, from material science okay and uh, you can uh, practice these question or I can say you can watch this video if you are preparing for mechanical as well as uh, XEC paper can the material science okay so let's see that you are able to answer these questions or not so let's start with the first question so determine the indices for the direction in shown direction in the following cubic unit cell for the direction a so here you can see many directions are given like d direction is given c direction is given a is given b is given so they are just asking that you have to calculate okay you have to calculate the miller indices of direction for the vector a i can say this direction so there are basically first of all what is miller indices okay or indices so indices is nothing it is a coordinates and uh, it is basically discovered by miller so that is why it is called miller indices so there are two type of miller indices first is first is for direction and second are for plane okay first is for direction second is for plane so we have to calculate for the direction a so now I am going to give you the process that how can you calculate this so let me give you the answer so answer for this here you can see 0 1 bar 1 bar 1 bar 1 direction which determination uh, which determination is summarized as follow we uh, first of all position the origin of coordinate system at the tail of the direction so this is the most important point in this solution okay this is the most important point now what is the concept so whenever you are talking about the Miller indices of direction so the requirement is that that whatever the vector you are taking okay whatever the direction you are taking uh, let me give you this so suppose this is the uh, this is the vector or direction then the required condition is that you have to shift this you have to shift this coordinate system to here okay so this is the required condition that the tail of this vector should uh, pass through the vector like this here you can see like this okay so we have to shift the coordinate system in this direction so in this direction it is positive x axis uh, if this is y axis positive then this is going to be the negative y and I can say if uh, uh, if this is the I can say if this is the positive z direction then this is going to be the negative z direction okay and uh, this is going to be the negative x and this is going to be the positive y so this is the coordinate system I can say now you can see our vector is there whatever the vector about which we are talking it is here so this is the head of vector and this is the vector or direction I can say now it is passing through origin its a tail is passing through the origin I can say now when you take the projection when you take the projection on this axis that is Z axis so it is equivalent to this that is the side of unit cell when you take a projection on this on Y axis it is equivalent to it is equivalent to the side of unit cell okay it is equal equivalent to the size of unit cell I can say like this okay so I can say this size as a B this in the Z direction as C and there is no projection in the I can say X direction okay there is no projection in the X direction because this uh, direction this vector is in YZ plane so I can say here you can see 0 a because it is uh, not uh, there is no I can say projection on X direction so 0 a in Y direction it is going to be the negative Y direction negative B I can say minus B and in Z direction it is minus C because it is intersecting at uh, negative Z axis I can say now when you remove the uh, basically if you take the I can say uh, if when you remove the a b c then the required uh, terms are 0 minus 1 minus 1 okay reduce to integer it is already in integer form so no need to require to enclose this now what do you have to do if there is a negative sign then you have to put a bar on that bar on that like this negative is there so put a bar on that so whatever 0 you write here 1 negative hai to 1 bar 1 negative bar and then enclose it in the square bracket so square bracket represent the direction okay it represent the direction if the vectors are like this then it represent the plane 
sorry if the bracket bra brackets are like this then it represent the plane okay so first question that you can see that uh, direction vectors are like this and uh, there is no comma separation okay there is no need of comma to separating one from other so i hope this question is clear to you that how you can write the miller indices of direction i am not giving any option the in these questions now convert uh, uh, 1 0 0 and triple 1 1 direction into four indices miller brevier scheme for hexagonal unit cell okay so if you talk about first of all this is the directions again miller indices of direction now you have to convert this three direction into four index for hexagonal unit what is the meaning of this so when you talk about hexagonal unit cell like this okay like this like this okay so there are basically three axes for this like one axis is this one axis is this one three the axes are these and fourth axis is this axis perpendicular axis so this axis is called z axis this axis is called a1 axis this is called a2 axis and this is called a3 axis and each axis are at angle of 120 degree from each other like this okay and the this plane is called base plane and z axis is perpendicular to base plane now in this here you can see uh, four are there basically one two three and four axis but in case of simple unit cell like this there are only three axes one two and three like this x y and z okay three axes are there i can say okay so this is what i am talking about that you have to convert this three axes into four axes okay so now let's see that uh, how we can convert and what is the process so i am just going to convert one and then you need to convert second also so this is the formula that uh, for one zero zero okay so u dash is equal to one like this this is u dash and v dash is equal to second term and w dash equal to third term okay so u dash v dash and w dash now to write into four terms four terms are like this u v t w these are the four terms so u here is equal to 1 by 3 2 u dash minus v dash and v is here 1 by 3 2 v minus u dash u i can say and t is minus u plus v and w equal to w a dash only so when you put here that uh, u dash is nothing but it is 1 so 1 into 2 minus v dash is 0 so after getting it u is 2 by 3 v is minus 1 by 3 t is minus 1 by 3 and w equal to w dash equal to 0 okay now here you can see this is not in least form so i can just multiply it by 3 so when you multiply it by 3 2 it is going to be minus uh, sorry minus 1 it is going to be uh, minus 1 and it is 0 so when you convert this into bracket so 2 minus 1 so bar se replace karna hai, minus 1 ko bar se and then 0 okay so this is the required form of i can say miller indices for hexagonal unit cell okay so you just need to remember these formulas you can just remove it this and this okay so need not to uh, you just need uh, to remember these formulas to convert this okay now similarly you have to mention in the comment section that what is the answer for this now this is also a very important question here uh, are shown the atomic packing scheme for several different crystallographic direction for some hypothetical metal for each direction circles represent only those atoms contained within the unit cell which circles are reduced from their actual size okay so here you can see this is one zero zero direction zero one zero direction zero zero one direction how i know the direction that uh, basically question is the what type of crystal system does this unit cell okay so here you can see First of all, let me tell you. If this is x direction, this is y direction, this is z direction. Okay, like this. Now what is the meaning of one zero zero direction so simply one and other two zero means it is a major axis like this okay so this is one zero zero direction like this zero one zero it means it is y axis okay like this 
सो इट मीनस एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड वाई डायरेक्शन में द डायमेंशन आर जीरो पॉइंट फोर नैनोमीटर एंड इट इज ऑल्सो जीरो पॉइंट फोर नैनोमीटर एंड दिस जीरो जीरो वन रिप्रजेंट दी जेड डायरेक्शन इट मीनस लाइक दिस एंड इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एंड जीरो वन वन ओके जीरो वन वन सो इट इज वाई एंड इट इज जेड सो वाई एंड जेड ओके फर्स्ट इज एक्स सो इट मीन इट इज इन वाई जेड प्लेन सो वाई जेड प्लेन इट मीनस लाइक दिस सो दिस साइड इज गिवन एज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर एंड वन जीरो वन इट मीनस एक्स एंड जेड बिकॉज वाई इज जीरो सो इट इज इन एक्स जेड प्लेन सो एक्स जेड प्लेन इज नथिंग बट दिस इज अ प्लेन सो दिस इज गिवन टू यू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर एंड वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो मीन्स एक्स वाई प्लेन सो इट इज गिवन टू यू लाइक दिस दिस इज गिवन टू यू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स सिक्स सो ऑल दीज डायरेक्शन आर गिवन एंड बाई दिस यू हैव टू मेजर दैट ए वट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन ए बी एंड सी ओके वट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन ए बी एंड सी एंड अल्फा बीटा गा आर नाइनटी इक्वल टू नाइनटी ओनली हेयर यू कैन सी ओके सो फ्रॉम ए बी सी यू हैव टू चूज फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस लेट इज सो लेट मी गिव यू द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस सो हेयर यू कैन सी that all these are given okay all these are given like 110 is representing the xy plane okay so similarly so from here a equal to b equal to 0.4 that we have already seen because this is a this is b and c equal to this so a equal to b not equal to c alpha equal to beta equal to gamma 90 degree and this is the property of a tetragonal system okay tetragonal system is of this property so this type of question can be framed from there now next question is also on the similar line but here the lengths are not given directly planes are given like uh, here you can see they brack brackets are circular brackets okay circular bracket so what is the meaning of this this is representing the plane like this circular bracket circular bracket okay so after just drawing these you have to find that what is the relation or what type of crystal system this this is so let me give you the geometry here you can see okay so first of all this is 0 1 1 okay 0 1 1 so whatever the zero suppose x is 0 and y is 0 okay so x y is 0 so it mean it represent x y plane so here you can see this plane is x y plane perpendicular to z axis so one is 0.4 and one is 0.3 here you can see and here you can see 1 1 0 okay 1 1 0 what is the meaning of this here you can see okay if this is z direction and if this is y direction and this is x direction so it is representing like this this is the plane 1 1 0 similarly 1 0 1 okay so it means that if z is only 0 it means it is not intersecting z axis anywhere okay so z axis ko aap dekh sakte hain intersect nahi karega similarly here you can see that y is 0 so it means it is not going to intersect y axis anywhere but it is going to intersect x axis and z axis so after drawing this you can see that this cell is at the center so it may be body centered okay but uh, after the uh, measuring the size sides so here you can see that a b and c all the sides are unequal all the sides are unequal so here you can see a b and c so all sides are unequal and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 so it is orthorhombic crystal okay jahan pe tino direction mein signs are different it is called orthorhombic crystal where yahan pe center mein bhi body center aapka ek cell pada hai okay so i hope ye aapko clear ho gaya hoga now last question for this that uh, determine the indices for plane shown in the hexagonal unit cell okay so this is a plane given to you so in z direction we represented by c and now we take only two axes from here okay if i just write one is this and another is this suppose this is u and this is v i can say then this plane is parallel to v axis or a2 axis and this plane is also parallel to a1 or u so it is not intersecting anywhere so i can say a1 a2 and uh, c so a1 ko it is not intersecting so i can say intersecting at infinity a2 ko intersecting at uh, infinity and c if this is total c then you can say it is at the half so c by 2 so a b c by 2 okay or a1 b1 like you can write now what you have to do just make the solution for this so what is the solution to represent the plane let me give you the process for that okay so here you can see that uh, this plane intersecting a1 a2 z axis at infinity a infinity a and c by 2 okay so the, in terms of a b c intersection infinity infinity and 1 by 2 you are just taking the uh, i can say 
removing a a and c by 2 so infinity infinity first of all it is infinity a1 i can say infinity a2 and then c by 2 okay or 1 by 2 into c so i am just taking the these terms removing a1 a2 and now infinity infinity 1 by 2 okay now i have to take the reciprocal so reciprocal of this 0 0 and 2 okay so this is the final h k and l okay this is the final three terms but in a hexagonal system we required four terms so fourth terms in case of plane i can say is i okay so h k i l these are the coordinates for hexagonal system h you already found k you already found and l you already found two now i is nothing but it is equal to minus h plus k okay so minus 0 plus 0 equal to 0 so I can say 0 0 2 so this is the plane about which we are talking and this is the method to find the Miller indices of plane that first of all you have to find the intersection then you have to take the uh, I can say um, remove the a1 a2 a3 or uh, a b c and after you have to take the reciprocal then you have to reduce it into the smallest form then you have to just enclose into the circular brackets okay so friends this is all about uh, today's I can say five questions I hope you like the questions and uh, in the next video we are going to practice some more questions thank you very much friends